$1,000 in a savings account change your financial life? I'll argue that, in fact, it can. According to a recent survey, about 60% of Americans have less than a thousand bucks in their savings account. Now, if that's you, I'd love to help you change that. If you have insurance, and I bet you do, think about the deductible you have. Now, most people instinctively want to have a very low deductible. Why? I don't know. Maybe as humans, we're just pessimistic. We assume the worst and we don't want to have to suffer for it. What if my heart stops beating? What if I'm looking for a bathroom, I can't find it, and my bladder explodes? Now, I'm not here to argue that nothing bad's ever going to happen to you. I mean, I'm an insurance agent. Bad things happen to people, and having proper insurance coverage is very important. You know, the type of insurance coverage you need is unique to you. And that discussion is one I'd be glad to have with anyone. It's one you should be having with your insurance agent on a regular basis. That's not my focus here. What I want to do is point out that the amount of your insurance coverage has less impact on your insurance premium than your deductible does. You know, lowering your coverage won't reduce your cost as much as raising your deductible will. Rewind that and hear that again. Okay, let's start building that savings account. About $84 a month, if you could save 84 bucks a month, um, within a year you'd have about $1,000. Now, raising your insurance deductible might not result in all that savings. But according to uh, a survey by uh, carinsurance.com, if you raise your deductible on your auto insurance from $500 to $1,000, bucks, you would save about $300 per year for the average person. I don't want you to think that um, I'm only talking about carrying a, a higher deductible on your car insurance. I'm talking about this in, in general. And as a general practice, um, having a, a, a higher deductible means that you're going to be on the hook for more if you do have that claim. But thinking you're going to have a claim more often than you actually are it kind of works against you. So where I'm going with this is insurance companies reduce premium when you carry a higher deductible. And that's really the argument that I'm making here. So this is not strictly just an auto insurance uh, idea. This is an insurance idea. Now if you dig statistics, uh, listen to this one. I dig statistics. According to a study by Forbes.com that they did this year, the average person will have an accident, an auto accident, that will result in a claim needing to be filed once every about 17 years. Now remind me again why so many of us want a lower deductible for something that doesn't happen as often as we think. Now what's $300 per year times 17 years? Well, that's $5,100. Now there's lots of little tweaks to our financial lifestyle that can help us build and then maintain an emergency savings account. You know, buy a tall coffee at Starbucks instead of the venti. You know, don't supersize it. You get the picture. Now I'm an insurance guy, so I'll stick to that advice. Insurance claims aren't the only reason to have an emergency fund. I mean, the world's an imperfect place. Ms. Brown. It's an imperfect world, but it's the only one we've got. That's why we have insurance, right? But if you don't know where to begin to find that extra money to start your savings account, now you do.